Welcome Capricorn. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. Using Lover's Oracle doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a love reading, but if it is, it is. But apply it to anything in your life, any form of relationship, you know, friendship with your family, co-workers, you know, with yourself even, okay? Mystical Wisdom is the other deck we'll be using, and the Light Seas Tarot. Alrighty then, well, let's get into it, shall we? Capricorn, three cards for Capricorn here, please. Three cards for Capricorn. Three cards for Capricorn, please. There we go. Well, let me go and pick that up off the floor. Okay, Capricorn. First card up here is playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. True. Surrender. Hmm. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go. Hmm. Sorry, let go and all will work out. Interesting. I just kind of have a feeling that for some of you, this is not necessarily a new relationship, but something that is evolving into something deeper in a sense okay so here we have a card that doesn't have a title if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul that's right that is right capricorn that is so true the heart is the gateway to the soul. Oh, man, I love that. Okay, so playfulness. Two cards for playfulness, please. Okay, I'll call Two cards for playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. This could even be getting together with friends, right? Or people who, who you trust, family. To help you heal okay so originality is the first card here originality <laughs> blaze your own trail yes that's exactly what i got from the picture too of really creating you know your own way of being you know this is it's not really i mean it's about the trail that you know the legacy that you leave behind but how do we leave that legacy we leave that by being our authentic self right by stepping into that because often too often actually we are shaped by society and or other people in our lives and what you should do and what you should be and don't behave that way do this do that you know and what if we just were free to be who we wanted without judgment without judgment, not only by other people, but also from ourselves. What if? Two cards for originality, for Capricorn, please. What if you just let go and became carefree? What would that look like, right? How would you have this playfulness in your life, right? What would that eventuate as yeah here we go these are the right cards okay so yeah see look it, it, it's almost like you need to reteach yourself and you know i don't know if i've said it to you before but this is also about bringing in that inner, inner child channeling that inner child remember when you were a, a kid and you used to go out and have fun no care in the world you know running around and bare feet and in the middle of winter you know like just doing what it is that you was your authentic nature what was natural to you you know this is the kind of thing that we need to channel we get so bogged down as adults by the daily grind of things um, that we forget how to have this playfulness in our life you know what is it that makes you laugh 
and I'm not just talking about laughs, I'm talking about belly laugh, where you can't breathe and your cheeks are sore and, you know, you're not even making a sound. What is that for you, Capricorn? Go out and find that. You know, if you're not around people who are doing that with you, who are helping you with that, and you can sit there and have that, you need to be on the hunt for some people to do that with, right? And that's not to discard anyone in your life, to say they're not good enough, not at all. Okay, but this here, like talking about what is the legacy that you want to leave, you know? And making that joyful. What are you planting? What are you growing? You know, what do you want that to be for yourself, for your family, for the generations that follow you? You know, let me just clear my throat. <laughs> Sorry about that, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This next card here is vacation. Yep, take a vacation. See, look at her traveling on that leaf in a way that you wouldn't even think to. And this vacation may help to um, offload some things that you need to release. Maybe a few burdens, but I feel like also um, it's, it's giving you permission to step out of your daily responsibilities in order to go and have some fun, to have some playfulness and bring that into your life. And it doesn't mean that we just need to do that when we're on vacation. It means how can I actually incorporate into this into my daily life as though I'm on vacation, you know? So two cards for vacation for Capricorn, please. Yep, thank you. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, you know, because at the end of the day, I feel like for some of you, there's something, you know, you're re-evaluating things anyway. You're looking at, is this what I really want? Like, this is becoming a bit of a drag right now, you know. Um, and for some of you, your choosing is to, you know, whether to walk away from the things that, you know, you might have worked really hard towards. But now you're going, I don't know if I really want that anymore. You know, do I want that? Some of you are running away towards it. You know, it's it's sort of like finding a new way to travel through life. And I feel like the um, the vehicle that you use to travel through life is incredibly important. Right? And just a thought here, Capricorn. Could the vehicle that you use to travel through, through life be playfulness? Is there a possibility right surrender okay for some of you capricorn i feel like you've trapped yourself inside of yourself and i think it's time to let yourself free now to let yourself go to let yourself be two cards for surrender for capricorn please at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter in. Sorry, can enter into our lives. Let go, and all will work out. It's really interesting because I have Sagittarius playing on my mind right now, so I'm not sure if some of you are dealing with the Sagittarius or you have those placements in your chart. I even feel like I may have said Sagittarius at some point, but I don't think I have. There's something quite prominent about that. Maybe you need to go and look at the Sagittarius reading. So what was that about? I think it was something about burdens. So maybe that will help you. Even if you don't have Sagittarius placements in your chart, it may help you. Okay. There might be a message in there for you. Anyway. Okay. So surrender at times. We must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. This card here. Cheer up. Live in the moment. Sometimes I feel like cheer up is a little bit of like, eh, it's not important. I mean, if there are things that are weighing you down and are heavy on your heart, they're important. They're important to work through. They're important to heal. But living in the moment, being present, 
this is what helps us not dwelling on the past, right? Not letting the past rule us. To do the healing that we need to do so that we can move forward in life. Move forward on the vehicle of playfulness. Yeah? Two cards for cheer up. The Capricorn, please. Learning a new way of doing things. Learning something new. I wonder if some of you... may be looking at or may have been even forced into traveling a new path in your life and it's requiring strength i feel like there's the sense of needing to step into your own power here yeah definitely i feel like you need to learn more about who you are how you deal with things how you approach things how you have done that your entire life And kind of, um, well, it's interesting, actually, Capricorn, because what I'm getting here, it's almost like reviewing. It's like a life review, in a sense. Looking back on what it is that you have, you know, the story that you've written so far. And as you look back through that, you may start to see patterns emerge. And that may, you know, kind of like give you an idea of, how to approach things differently for yourself. And it may also help you to step onto your path rather than walking someone else's idea of what your path should have been. Go with the flow. Let things happen. Yeah. Sometimes we can have changes in our lives, which are pretty hard to deal with at the time. But we have to ride the wave, even if we don't want to. We have to ride the wave. How are you going to deal with the wave? Are you going to let it crash down on you and drown you? Or are you going to ride it? Are you going to ride it? And here's the thing, when riding the wave, you're not always going to know what's going to come next, right? This person here has used what they have at their disposal to ride the wave. She's gone and jumped on a couple of fishes here and used them to ride the wave, right? She's become creative. So it really is looking at what is surrounding you, you know, at the drop of the hat, that you need to help with this vehicle. What is the vehicle? You know, what is the vehicle here? This is really interesting because we've got like, where's that other one? Who are traveling on this vehicle here, right? These are not common vehicles that you see except for the motorbike. How do you want to travel through your life, right? Do you want to do it like everyone else in a motor, on a motorbike or on a car, right? Or do you want to create your own way of traveling, right? This is about this originality as well, okay? The other thing I want to say here, especially with this eagle up here, is using your wisdom to guide you. Not what everyone else says you should do, not what society says you should do, but using your own internal guidance system here, Capricorn. That is how you make your way through life with your own internal GPS. Okay, program it. Don't let anyone else push them buttons. You push those buttons. You're in charge of that. No one else. Two cards for go with the flow, please. You know, there may be something that some of you have been doing for so freaking long that you're just absolutely like done. Like this is so not me. Even though you thought it might have been, but might you might have done that because you thought this is what I have to do. This is what everyone else does. But there's there's maybe something starting to burn inside of you to go. Mm, this is there's got to be more to it than this, right? Yeah, 
Again, see, this is this standing in your power, taking off the mask, taking off this, this, um, this idea, removing these concepts that you may have put on yourself or other people may have put on you. Taking those off and going, yeah, nah, not anymore. Sitting there and going, actually, I'm going to own it now. I call checkmate. And I'm taking control of this game of my life. Because it's your life. No one else's but yours, right? And standing up and going, this is who I am. Check me out. <laughs> Putting yourself in that spotlight, metaphorically, right? And going, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. If they're not cheering for me, they can go somewhere else. Because what I have here is my cheering squad. And who's the leader of that cheering squad, Capricorn? You. Right? If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. Okay. Two cards for this card, please. The Capricorn. One flipped over two. Do I want this? No. Okay. One more card. The Capricorn. Here it is. That wasn't right either. Sorry, Capricorn. It's the way they're coming out. I'm like, that's not right either. I want to jump up. I want it to really jump or fly. Jump or fly. Jump or fly for Capricorn. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, so first card here is dreams. Believe in your dreams. Yeah. You know, this could be what you're dreaming at night, but this could be from long ago. The dreams that you've put aside, you put on the back burner that you don't believe you would ever be able to fulfill or that would ever come true. Two cards for dreams for Capricorn, please. You know, and this could be in a relationship, but this could be in, for your entire life, realistically, because I feel like this is kind of like really a massive creation, creation of your life here. Okay, so let's have a look here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this could be a relationship here. All right. Night heart. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Here's what I want to say, Capricorn. Don't settle for less. Okay? Remember who you are. Know your worth. Know what you're worth. Know your value. And make sure that you only surround yourself with people who are going to give that to you. Some of you have someone coming in and out of your life in a romantic sense that you're holding on to. Um, that isn't going, isn't, isn't your person. Put it that way. Um, and that's not to say anything bad about them. Not at all. It's just there's another match for you. And because there's this focus on this particular person, the match that needs to come in is, right, could be an Aries, um, the match that needs to come in is unable to do so because you're not looking. You're not looking in that direction. You're looking here at this one who's coming in for a little bit but about to get on the horse and carry on, right? So, um, yeah, whereas... When you are sure of what you're growing, when you are sure of yourself, when you know um, what it is that you're creating, that is when you won't even need to look for that person at all. 
they'll be there. So, yeah. Okay, so creative wonderment. Follow the passion. Follow your passion, sorry. Yeah, follow your passion. You know, like I said before, there could be things that you've been doing for a really long time that aren't really your passion that you've done. You know, it could have been you've been taking piano lessons because you were made to when you were little and you were told because you're so talented at it that this is what you should be doing. And maybe you want to go and explore, you know, and that's okay. So two cards for creative wonderment for Capricorn, please. Yeah, this is this this battle that you're having within yourself. You know, you want the Ten of Cups, but it's kind of like climbing, um, kind of reaching it in the wrong way, in a sense. Oh, uh, I don't know. Not that, that yeah. Uh, anyway, um, I didn't mean the wrong way because there's always, you know, things to be learned on um, from the journey that we are travelling. But... It's kind of like the way that um, you're going about it at the moment is not what is going to get you there. So it's kind of like you need to change your tactics in a sense or really evaluate and look back and to see how it is that you, you're, you're traveling, right, to see how that needs to change because this is here waiting for you. This is this exploration that you need to go on so that you can... Um, because climbing on these here is not going to get you to here, okay? It's it's completely in, in a direction that isn't going to get you to where you want to go. So it's, it's, it's like Capricorn, it's like there's this need to change course and to really, really um, re-evaluate the course that you're on so that you can work out how to change that, to get to where you want to go. Because your dreams are reachable. They are there for the taking. But the course that you're on right now is just leading you to a dead end all the time. It's like walking through a maze and not actually um, following your intuition. You know, because it's like, well, someone said, I, rem I heard someone back there say, turn right, turn right, turn right. And I kept turning right and I kept ending up in the same place. So maybe, you know, when your intuition is saying, go left. Yeah. So, yeah. Very interesting. Okay. So I just want to leave you with this. The heart is the gateway to the soul. Follow your heart. Follow your intuition. Okay. And that will lead you to your match for your soul. Okay. Capricorn, that was an interesting ride. Thanks for that journey along those vehicles. Um, yeah, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.